This is a modulation demonstration of the MD380 modified with OpenRTX firmware. Right now we've got it loaded with the April 30th 2022 version which is known to have some problems. I'm going to transmit the first time after power up and watch what happens on the spectrum. Isn't that interesting? Now we have the Spectrum Analyzer configured in Vector Signal Analyzer mode. It's configured for FSK, four tones, 2400 Hz maximum deviation, 4800 symbols per second, just like the M17 parameters. And if you can barely see those four little white circles on the line in the upper window. Those are indications of where the tones are supposed to land. And the red dots are where the, where the signal is. This is a no signal present. And now I'm going to transmit with the handheld using the April 30th version of the software. And you can see that it's grossly undermodulated. The tones are confined within the 800 or the 1 and minus 1 symbols and don't go anywhere near the plus 3 and minus 3 symbols. That's wrong and maybe the new version, the May 5th version of the firmware will fix that. And now we have the May 5th version of the firmware loaded. Turn it on for the first time and transmit. Here's the vector signal analyzer again. I'm transmitting with the May 5th firmware. Now we've got red dots that are divided up in about the right spacing, centered on where they're supposed to be centered. But they're really kind of wide. It should not be that wide. By contrast, this is what the GNU Radio flow graph looks like transmitting. The four symbols are where they belong, but they're also confined within the little circles. And it's not because the signal is loud. The Pluto puts out a very small signal compared to the HT. So what's wrong with the HT?